Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can build this house right here. As you can see, here's the X here, and it's going to give you a little quick 360 view and a tour inside, and then we can start a tutorial. So inside of the house, we have a little carpet, a fireplace, some couches, a little TV, and the bathroom in here. Pretty modern open floor plan. And here there's a kitchen, a dining table, and if we go upstairs, there's a bedroom. So yeah, that's the house that I'm gonna teach you how to build. The first step to making this house is the layout. You're gonna wanna take the orange concrete and place 14 blocks going across on the ground. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we're gonna switch to the yellow concrete and now go one block behind the orange block. So we are going from here, now we're going from here. And we're gonna place 14 blocks going across again. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we're gonna wanna turn this way and place nine additional blocks going this way. So that's for a total of 10 blocks. So this is one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna wanna turn around this way again, and you can basically mirror what you just did on the other side. So as you can see, we placed 14 yellow blocks, then 14 orange blocks, one block ahead. We're gonna do the same thing here. So just place 14 yellow blocks going out. You can just base it off of like what you see behind you. That's 14 blocks, and then you switch to the orange block, and then you're gonna go out here. So that's symmetrical. You're gonna go out this way and then place 14 orange blocks. That's one, two, three, and then you can just base it off of what you see on the other side. Okay, we can also repeat this yellow horseshoe shape we saw on this side. So it's gonna be 14 blocks long and 10 blocks wide, just like th th over here. So basically just do the same thing you did on this side. So we're just gonna place 14 blocks going out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Have a wall here that's 10 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then you can just connect this with the orange blocks. Obviously it's gonna be one block behind, but, so yeah. So this is what your finished layout is gonna look like. I'm just gonna put the dimensions on screen right now, just in case you couldn't understand what I was saying before. And now we can start building up the orange walls. So the orange walls have a total of 10 blocks in height. So right now they're one block in height. We're gonna wanna stack them up nine additional blocks. So this is the first block, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna do this for both walls. So we can go over here too. That's the first block, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we can just fill the rest in. Now, if you don't have world edit, you can just fill this in manually, but since I have world edit, I'm just gonna left click here to set the first position. Right click here to set the second position, and do slash slash set orange concrete. If you don't have world edit, you don't have to do that. You can just fill it in manually, but since I do, I'm just gonna do this to speed up the process a little bit. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna get out the birch planks. And we're gonna build up a pillar of birch planks on both sides of this wall. So you can see I'll build it up right here. And right here as well. I'm also gonna take the birch stairs. And we're gonna place it at the bottom, but make sure they're upside down like this. There's a little crevice you can go in right there, just to add a little more depth. Just like this, you're gonna wanna put this along the entire thing. Now we're gonna go on to this other orange wall and do the same thing on this side. So just place a pillar of birch planks on both sides. Just like this. And then you're gonna wanna take the birch stairs and make them upside down on the bottom. So now for this next step, we're gonna need a few blocks. We're gonna need the spruce, stripped spruce log. We're gonna need spruce fence, white concrete, dark oak door, 
and the lantern. So now that you've got all this blocks, it's time to start working on the entrance. So now you're gonna go to the left side of these stairs, count four blocks out, one, two, three, four. Then you can break off a block right here and also break off four other blocks like so. So now you should see that this hole is directly in the center. Make sure that it's directly in the center and you didn't mess it up. Okay, so now you can punch a hole out here. This is gonna be the doors. Now make sure to add extra depth. Don't put it in like this where you're facing this side. You're gonna wanna go inside the house, then face this way and put them in here. That way they're like inside of the wall kind of and it adds more depth. So now we're gonna take the white concrete, break all the blocks that are around the door just like this and fill it in with white concrete. Now you can take the stripped spruce block. Now you can take the strip now you can take the stripped spruce log. Wow, it took me a few tries to say. And you're gonna break off the blocks. You're gonna break off the dirt fences on both sides of this on the on both sides of the white concrete. And then you're gonna build up three blocks on both sides. So one, two, three, and over here do the same thing. One, two, three. Now you can take the spruce slab, which I forgot to get out, but you can get this out now. And you're gonna go on top of this left spruce spruce pillar and you're gonna place a spruce slab and then place one to the left. Now do the same thing on this side, but instead place the spruce slab to the right. Now you can get your spruce fence. Place three spruce fence going up on both sides of the door, just like this. Now take the spruce, strip spruce log again and place it on top of both of the pillars of fence. Now you can take the spruce slab and connect the two spruce logs by connecting it like this. Make sure it's on the lower half, not the upper half. And now you can take the lantern, place two lanterns right above the door, connected to these slabs up here. And you can also put a lantern on one block away from the edge here, and one block away from the edge here, just like so. So now the entrance is done. Okay, so now we're gonna make the big window that goes right on top of the door. The blocks we're gonna need for this step is the white concrete, the white stained glass pane, the oak trap door, the birch planks, the birch slab, the grass block, the spruce trap door, the white stained glass, and the stripped birch log. So we're gonna take the stripped birch log and right on top of these two stripped spruce logs, we're gonna place two stripped birch logs, just like this. Now we're gonna take the birch slab and place two birch slabs going across on the upper half, on the upper half of the block, connecting the two birch logs, just like this. Now with, with these birch slabs, we can also put two going off of the birch logs on the upper half as well. Actually, we're gonna have, sorry about that, we're gonna have three birch slabs going across. Now we're gonna take the birch plank, we're gonna place four birch planks going up on both sides. That's one, two, three, four on one side, and one, two, three, four on the other side. Now we're gonna take the birch slab again and connect the two birch planks by putting a slab on top of the birch planks then connecting the two just like this. Now we're gonna take the white stained glass pane. We're gonna count one block up from this spruce from this birch log. So one and then this block, we're gonna break a block. We're gonna break one block above it and then break three blocks to the side, just like this. Don't don't break this block, that was an accident. Don't, I didn't mean to break those blocks. And we're gonna fill this in with white stained glass pane. While we're here, we can actually fill in this space between the spruce slabs and the spruce logs, the birch slabs and the birch logs. Just break out the blocks like this and fill them in with white stained glass panes. Okay, so now we're gonna break all the blocks that are around the white stained glass pane and inside of this birch border we've made. So just break all the blocks that are around it. Just like this. And we're gonna fill all of it in with white concrete. Now we're gonna take the oak trap doors and right alongside these birch planks, we're gonna wanna place trap doors that are facing down so to go against the white concrete, just like this. And you wanna do this on either side. That way they look like the window shutters. Now you wanna take the grass block Put four grass blocks right below the window like this. One, two, three, four. Now you can take the spruce trap door, put them on the grass blocks and flap them down so you can't see the ugly dirt side you, there is to them. And make sure you do it on either side as well. 
now we need to get the flowers. So the flowers that I used for this window, you can use whatever flowers you want actually, but I got the blue orchid and the red tulip. But you can use whatever flowers you want. And what I did, just like, remember, you can use whatever flowers you want. I just put two blue orchids on each side and take the red tulip and then put two red tulips in the middle, just like this. So now we have like a little flower area right by the window just to decorate it some more. Okay, now we're gonna decorate the wall on the other side. So we decorated this wall. Now we're just gonna go to the other orange wall and decorate this one as well. So for this wall, we're gonna need basically the same blocks we did for the other wall. We're not gonna need the white glass, so we're not, not we're not gonna need the white glass blocks, but we still will need the white stained glass pane. So we're gonna go one block above the birch stairs like this. And also one block away from the birch planks on the other side. So we're right here. And we're gonna break a block above as well. And we're gonna fill the space in with white concrete. So now that we got this white concrete, we're gonna like a two by three hole right next to the white concrete, like this. So three blocks this way and two blocks lengthwise or height wise actually. And we're gonna fill that in with white stained glass panes. Now I'll break a two by two hole right next to the window like this. Fill that in with white concrete. Now I'll break a three by two hole next to the white concrete like this. Fill that in with white stained glass panes. Now I'll break another one by two hole next to the white stained glass panes and fill that in with white concrete. So now I've got like a little window area at the bottom. So now for the top window, it's literally gonna be the exact same window we used on this wall, but yeah, it's gonna be on this wall too. So, as you notice, on this wall, the slabs like connect with the spruce planks, but we're not gonna have that. On this, that's the only difference with the window. It's, there's not gonna be have these birch logs that connect to birch spruce that connect to spruce logs, because obviously there's no entrance on the other one. We're just gonna wanna go the block above these windows and then place a birch slab on the upper side, like this, and then place that all along. And that's gonna act like the bottom of the window. So now you can just go back to this other window and copy the exact same thing. Just remembering that this bottom part is gonna be the same as those birch slabs we placed. So just like the other time, we'll place four birch planks going up and we'll connect them with the birch slabs. And then you can just go to the other side and copy the exact same window. Cause I don't think I have to teach you how to do it again. So do that now. Okay, so once you're on that, it should look like this. The exact same window on here, just with the bottom not connected to anything. So for the roof, the only two blocks you're gonna need is the birch slab and the birch planks. So we're gonna go to the left side of this birch pillar. You can be on either wall, it doesn't really matter. Place a birch slab like that. Then take some birch planks and place one to the right of that. Then take birch slabs, put one on the upper half of the block to the right. Then place one above it. Then you can place the block on the upper slab. And you, you see the pattern at this point. Just keep making a pattern like this and do the same on the other side. So make a pattern by putting a slab here, block, two slabs, a block, two slabs. And you're gonna wanna stop when they're exactly four blocks apart from each other. So they seem about four blocks apart right now. You're gonna wanna take the birch planks and then on the upper half, connect the two with these four birch planks like this. Now, whatever wall you are on, you wanna do the same thing to the other wall. So, the same thing here. So I'm just gonna put a birch slab, birch plank, two birch slabs, birch plank, do the same thing here. Birch slab, birch plank, two birch slabs, birch plank. And I think I'm not four blocks apart yet, so I'll do it one more time on both here and here. And now I'm two blocks apart, so yeah, now I'm four blocks apart. And I can connect the two with these birch planks. So now, you might notice, now that we've put this roof in place, there's like a little bit of gap, um, there's a little bit of gap in the wall. So we're just gonna fill that in by going behind it and filling this in with orange concrete, just like this. And do the same thing on the other wall. Now you can go over here. You're gonna wanna break out a hole that's one by four that goes underneath these four birch planks. So it's right here. 
and you can fill that in with white stained glass panes. Then you want to get a lantern and place two lanterns above the window. One's going to be here and one's going to be here, just like this. And now you can do the same thing on the other set wall. So, four blocks broken out here, white stained glass panes, lantern here, and lantern here. So now you want to actually fill in the roof above. You can do that just by connecting this with slabs, just like this, then connect connect this with planks. So basically, if you see a slab, then connect the two of slabs, and if you see a plank, then connect the two of planks. And repeat that until you've completed the entire roof. Okay, so now we're completely done with the orange section of the house. You can see we've completed the wall, we've completed the roof. So now I just need to do the yellow section. Okay, so now we've finished the orange walls. So we're gonna move on to the yellow part of this house next. Now for the yellow part of this house, I'm gonna start with the roof first before we do the walls, and you'll see why I do that in a second. So the only two blocks we're gonna need for the roof is the spruce planks and the spruce slab. So go get out those blocks, and now we can start. So I'm gonna build up a spruce pillar right alongside this birch pillar, as you can see right here. So I'm on the front side where the entrance is and I'm going on the left side of this wall. So I'm right here right now and I'm gonna build up this spruce pillar. Now, as you can see, there's one orange block left. Once I get to that point, I'm gonna place a spruce slab instead. So now we're gonna place two spruce slabs like this to the side. So we're having one spruce slab here and one below it. We're gonna do that again, so now there's two groups of two spruce slabs, as you can see right here. Now we're gonna place the spruce plank, and make sure you place it on the lower half, so it goes like that. And now you can keep repeating this pattern, so you're gonna do three layers of spruce slabs like that, then a spruce plank, then another three layers of spruce slabs, then a spruce plank, and then one last group of spruce slabs, like this. And now you can connect and I connect this down to the ground by putting a slab here, then connecting this with spruce planks, just like that. Now you can go on the other side of this yellow wall and do the exact same thing here. So you're going to build up this spruce plank pillar, and make sure there's a slab here, then let's go like that. Three groups of spruce slab, block, three groups of spruce slabs, a block, three groups of spruce slabs, a block, three groups of spruce slabs, and another block. And then connect this down to the ground. Just like this, connect this down to the ground. So now we can basically just connect this together to form the roof. So kind of like how we formed the roof here, we're basically gonna do the exact same thing. So whenever we see a slab, we connect it with slabs, and whenever you see a block, connect it with blocks. So here is a slab, so I'm connecting it with slabs. Then I'll connect it with a block once I get to a block. And when you're done with that, it should look like this. As you can see, the entire roof is in place. I'm also gonna fill this little gap here of orange concrete that gets left over when we place this roof here. Just like that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can actually start working on the wall. So the reason we did the the reason we did the roof first is because it would be hard to tell like when the roof ends if we did the wall first. This kind of gives us a layout that helps us know where to place blocks and stuff. So, the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the middle block, so as you can see there's like slabs, blocks, slabs. So, this is the left block right here. This is the right block. We don't wanna do the left or the right block. We wanna go to the middle block, so right here. And then from this middle block, extend down a pillar of spruce planks, just like this. Now I'm gonna take some spruce stairs and place them upside down right alongside the wall like this kind of like what we did here with but with, but it was both birch stairs here here we're doing those three stairs and we're also going to take the spruce slab we're going to go to this block right here 
and on the upper half of this block, so right here, we're gonna extend over a layer of spruce slab, just like that. So now I'm gonna get some yellow concrete and we're gonna fill in this wall, so just fill this whole thing in up to the top. But one important thing is you don't wanna fill in this whole top right here that we did when we put the slabs. This hole right here, you don't wanna fill in, but fill in everything below it. And when you're done with that, it should look like this. As you can see, both of these parts are filled in with yellow concrete, except for this part up here. So you might be wondering, what are we gonna fill in there? We're gonna get some yellow glass, and this is gonna be a window. So just go inside here and fill this in like a window. Actually, we can put yellow concrete right here, but everything alongside that, we're gonna fill in with yellow glass. Just like so. So now we're gonna make the windows. Okay, the blocks we're gonna need for the windows is the oak trapdoor, white stained glass pane, spruce trapdoor, lily of the valley, cornflower, grass block, lantern, and that's it. So first we're gonna get the lantern. This isn't really part of the window, but just like on the wall, we're gonna put a lantern on this side and this side of the spruce pillars, just like this. So you have the lanterns laid out here. Now you can get the grass block. So we're gonna count two blocks away from the spruce pillar. So one, two. Now we're gonna count one block above one. And then one block to the right, one. And this is where your grass block should be. Now place one more grass block to the right. And then just like we did with the windows over here where we put spruce trap doors on top of it, we're gonna do the exact same thing here. We're also gonna put spruce trap doors in the bottom like this. So you don't see any dirt. Now on top of this grass, we're gonna punch out a two by two hole, fill it in with white stained glass panes. Actually, I forgot one block. I always forget blocks. We need white concrete. So now we're gonna break out two blocks next to the white stained glass panes on either side. And then over the white concrete, we're gonna put trap doors, just like this. Now on this grass, we're gonna put a lily of the valley on the left and the cornflower on the right. You can use different flowers if you want, but that's just the ones I chose. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So we're gonna put grass box in the middle. Actually, yeah, grass box in the middle. Put spruce trap doors all along it. Punch out a two by two hole. Put in white stained glass panes, punch out holes on the sides, put in white concrete, put in trap doors, and then wall of the valley, cornflower, just like so. So that's what the yellow wall is gonna look like. So we're gonna go on the other side, and we're basically just gonna copy the exact same thing we did on this side. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this wall and we're gonna copy it over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing we did here, but on this side. So just follow the same steps that I told you to do before, but on the other side, so right here. I'm just repeating myself, whatever. Okay, so when you're done with that, it should look like this. Hello, this is Future Kyle editing this video. I realize now how badly I explained the next step, so I'm going to explain it here now instead. Basically, the next step is to copy over the yellow section of the house to the other side, but facing the other way. If you have world edit, you can do this just by selecting the yellow section of the house, doing slash slash copy, slash slash rotate 180, then slash slash paste. If you don't have world edit, you can just go back to the timestamp you see on the screen right now and follow the same steps, but on the other side. However, before you do that, there's one important thing. When you rewind and I say to start on the left side of the front wall, I want you to actually start on the left side of the back wall. Then, when you copy it over to the other side, I want you to be on the right side of the front wall. This is because the yellow walls are facing a different way on the other side. Got it? Okay, go to this timestamp and do what I just told you to do. Okay, before we move on with this build, there's one minor mistake I made. It's not that big, you can fix it pretty easily. So basically, if you go to the side of the roof on the yellow part, you might notice that there's orange concrete that goes along here. What you actually want to do is break all this orange concrete, like this, 
then you want to take this brief slab and extend it out one. So, just extend it out like this. It's pretty hard to get in there, but. And then the orange concrete goes behind the spruce slab. So, an easy way to do this might be to go inside the house and then just place it along here. And I'm just gonna put the roof back. Okay, so now I'll fix it. I'll fix it on the other side as well. Sorry about this mistake. It's pretty minor, but yeah. Okay, now that we fixed this mistake, it's time to move on to the last step before we get to the interior, before we're finished with the exterior. So you might notice it looks like we're completely done with the exterior, but on the side here, it's still not filled in. So what we want, what we want to do is that we're gonna break these blocks on the side, like this, and then fill this in with yellow concrete. I'm actually gonna use World Edit to do this, but if you don't have World Edit, it's fine. Slash out shit, yellow concrete. And now we're gonna get the spruce stairs. Place this on the bottom upside down, just like we've done on the orange walls and the yellow walls. Now we need to get the spruce planks. Place spruce planks on the upper half of this block right above the stairs and make sure you weave a gap on the before the planks on the side. So you just wanna bring it all along and make sure you weave a gap on the planks on the side. So it should look like this. Now you wanna take the spruce planks, build two blocks up on the left side and build two blocks up on the right side. Now you can get the spruce slab, place the spruce slab on the left pillar and the right pillar and connect the two just like this. Now we need to get the white concrete, the white stained glass pane. Oops, I didn't mean to put that away. And the trapdoor, the oak trapdoor to be specific. Now you wanna break off a two by two area on the left side and the right side of the spruce wood border. Fill these spaces in with white concrete. Now in the middle of the white concrete, you wanna break out all the yellow blocks. Fill it in with white stained glass pane. Take the trap door, um, flip it down right next to the planks on the side, just like this. And now you have the window out of the side. Oh, you're also gonna take the spruce planks and make a layer right below the spruce slabs, like this. So now we're gonna go to the other yellow side wall and do the exact same thing. And there we go. So now we can officially say that the exterior is complete. So now we need to move on to the interior. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do on the interior is that all the grass blocks here, you wanna replace with birch plank, so. If you, if you don't have world edit, you just wanna break all these glass blocks manually, which will take a while, but you'll do it eventually. And then you wanna replace it with birch planks and do that for the whole floor. But again, since I have world edit, I'm just gonna fill it in manually, or not manually, automatically. So now the entire floor is birch planks to make, we need to separate the floors. So basically, as you can see, one block above these windows, or two blocks above it, and right here, this is where the second floor is gonna go. So this level right here, this is the second floor. Now we gotta fill the entire floor in with birch planks. So over here. And then again, since I have world edit, I'm gonna fill it in this way, but if you don't, it's fine. Okay, now that we have the floor separated, we can start working on the fireplace. So for the fireplace, we are gonna need the bricks, um, brick stairs, the iron bar, 
Netherrack, and Flint and Steel. And just to prepare for like the rest of the living room, we're also going to get orange carpet and dark prismarine stairs. So now we're going to go over to these windows and break the two blocks that are below this 2x2 two two of white concrete and on the floor. So these two blocks right here that are directly below these white, this white concrete. And we're going to fill it in with netherrack. Now we're gonna take some bricks. We're gonna put two block bricks going up on either side of the netter rack like this. We're gonna place two bricks in front of those other bricks we just placed as well. Now we're gonna light this netter rack on fire with our flint and steel. We're gonna get some iron bars. We're gonna place two iron bars in front of the fire. We're gonna place two iron bars on top as well. Now we're gonna get the brick stairs on the left thing of bricks we're gonna place two brick stairs facing this way and we're gonna do the same on this side facing that way now we get the bricks and we're gonna fill in on top of be between these two staircases we're gonna fill this in with bricks now we're gonna get the brick stairs again place two brick stairs going this way and two brick stairs going this way so that's so your fireplace should look just like this now we're going to get the orange concrete. We're going to count one block away from the fireplace and start right here. We're also, the length of the orange ca carpet should be one block away from the end of the fireplace. So right here and the other side, it should end right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in length. In terms of height, it's going to go until we're one block away from the wall over here. So... This is gonna, that's the length and the height of the orange carpet. So just fill this all in. Now, actually, this is kind of unrelated, but we're just gonna take the yellow concrete, put a pillar right here to extend the yellow wall a little bit on the interior. And we're gonna do that on both sides. And now we can get the dark prismarine stairs. We're going to count two blocks away from the end of this yellow wall in the interior. So we're going to count one, two, then go one block, one block towards you. So one, and this is where to, this is where we're going to place a stair. We're going to place one to the side. We're going to place dark previous marine stairs facing this way until we get right to this block, one block away from the yellow concrete again. And then we're going to place another dark prismarine stair facing this way. So it looks like a couch with armrests. We're also going to place a dark prismarine stair starting from here. So below the left side of this window, starting from here. We're going to place three prismarine stairs going this way. Another prismarine stair going that way. And those are our two couches. I know they're uneven, but that's because the staircase goes right here. And you need room to walk into the kitchen. So it'll look better. Once that's done. So now we're gonna get out the oak slab and the bookshelves. We're gonna count two blocks away from this yellow wall. So we're on the interior from the front door, we're going to the left. So we're on this yellow wall and then count two blocks away. So one, two. Now on the bottom orange concrete, so we're here, we're gonna place an oak slab on the upper half of the block, just like that. Now we're gonna place two more to the right. It's one, two. Now you can place a three by three area of bookshelves on top of the slabs. Now you can place three slabs on top of the bookshelves, just like this. Okay, so we are just on the left side of the entrance. Now we're gonna go to the right side of the entrance. We're gonna break off a column of yellow concrete like this so you can see that's Bruce Planks showing. Okay, so now for the next, for the staircase, we're gonna need the acacia slab, the birch plank, the birch fence, the bir and the birch stairs, of course. So we're gonna go right next to, right, right to the left of the fireplace, so right here. And then we're just going to place oak acacia slabs going to the right from the edge of this yellow wall. So we're here, and we're just going to keep placing acacia slabs going to the right. Now once we're two blocks away like this, we're actually going to stop placing them. And then place two blocks going backwards. That's one, two. And now place one block to the right. That's one. So the reason we did this is kind of how to separate where the staircase is going to go. And also separate the living room from the kitchen. So... On the acacia okay, slabs that are going up and down like this, we're gonna go to the front of it and place a birch slab here. 
And then to the right of that birch plank, we're gonna place two birch stairs going to the right. One, one two, and they're facing, it's facing this way. And now we're gonna place two birch slabs behind that. One, two, and now they're upside down like that. Now we're gonna place two birch slabs on top, two birch slabs behind, two on top, two behind, and we're gonna keep doing this until we reach the top. Okay, so once you get to the top, you're gonna break off a bunch of ceiling blocks and just break just enough so you can walk up. So it's a two by three hole you need to break off. You're also gonna break off these two blocks and replace them with a staircase. So now you have a staircase going to the upper floor. And actually, for you, these orange walls are gonna be off. You're gonna wanna place an orange wall going from the staircase. So if you're following along right now, I know it's kinda messed up because there should be no orange wall for you. But I kind of placed this orange wall beforehand, so just place an orange wall coming from this staircase right here. You should be able to just look at this and then copy this, where there's orange walls on the side. Sorry about that, that was just a little mistake I made. Because there was a thing where I did a recording session where my microphone wasn't working. So I tried to bring everything back to where it was before, but I guess I, I forgot to remove these walls. So make sure you place these walls here. Sorry about that. Now for the edge of the staircase, we're going to take the birch plank, and basically, for every time there's a staircase, we're going to place a birch plank in front of it, just like this. So we've got kind of like a zigzag pattern of birch planks going up. And we're also going to place up upside down birch fences, birch, not birch fences, birch stairs, going behind the birch planks, like this. And now we're going to place a birch, a birch, um, a birch fence on top of each birch plank, like this. And we're also going to place a birch fence behind each birch fence we just placed. Like that. I don't know why these birch fences aren't connecting. There we go. Okay, so when you're done, the birch, the, birch, the birch staircase should look like this. I don't know why these birch fences aren't connecting. This is so weird. For the next part, you're going to want to get out the acacia planks, the spruce stairs, the spruce fence, and the spruce trapdoor. So the first thing is that anything, so we're on the interior right now. We're going to the right of the doors and we're going right past these acacia slabs so anything that's past the acacia slab we're going to replace with acacia planks so anything that used to be birch planks we're going to make it acacia planks so if you want so if you don't have world edit you can just manually do this but i'm just going to select this and do slash slash set acacia planks and i'll do it for this area too Okay, so when you're done with that, it should look like this. Now we're gonna go up the spruce stairs, and we're gonna go, basically, these three acacia slabs that are going up and the right, and the right ahead of the staircase. So these three acacia slabs right here, we're gonna go to the top of these three acacia slabs, so right here, we're gonna go two blocks to the right, so that's one, two. Now on this block, we're gonna place a spruce stair facing this way. Now we're gonna go behind this three stair and to the left of that, we're gonna place the spruce stair facing this way. And now we're gonna place the spruce stair facing this way. So this is like a little chair thing. Now we're gonna go to the left block of this chair. We're gonna go two blocks ahead of that. That's one, two, place a spruce fence. Now go two blocks to the right. That's one, two, place another spruce fence. Now we're gonna count three blocks ahead of this spruce fence. That's one, two, three. Place another one, and then three blocks to the right or to the left. It's one, two, three. Place another spruce fence. Or actually, sorry, not three blocks, two blocks. Sorry about that. So it should look like this. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the right side of these fences. So right here to the right side. Make sure you're facing this way. This is important to make sure the trapdoor is facing the right way. So facing this way, we're going to place this breeze trap door right here. F make sure you face that way. That's very important. Now we're going to shift and place this breeze trap door in front of that. So if you, did, if you did everything right, these gray lines should be facing the same way on both of these trap doors. So that's very important. Now we're going to place another one facing the same way. Now we're going to do the same thing on these other stair on these other fences. So you're going to place a trap door, two trap doors in front facing that way. Now you can connect the two trapdoors with more trapdoors. So facing this way the whole time, we're just gonna place 
Actually, it might be better to start here. Or maybe, I don't know, it's tricky to make sure all the trapdoors are placed right. This might take a while. What you might want to do is to place like a fence, then place a trapdoor on top, then break the fence. That's like a good strategy for making sure they're facing the same way. So just do that until the whole table is connected. When you're done with that, it should look like this. As you can see, all the gray lines are facing the same way. Now we're gonna place another um, chair right to the right of this table. So how we're gonna do that is that we're basically gonna do the same format as this chair, but longer and on the right side. So we're gonna go to the bottom right corner of this table. We're gonna go two blocks to the right, one, two. Place this spruce stair to the side like this. And now go to the top right corner of the table and cap two, two blocks away, one, two. Place another spruce stair facing to the side and connect the two like this. So now there are two chairs. Okay, so now for the next section, we're gonna need the black carpet, the white carpet, the black wool, the white wool, the iron block, the iron door, the chest, the furnace, and the detector rail. So on these two acacia slabs that are going, or that are like left and right, like this, they're on the left side of this acacia slab thing. So these two acacia slabs right here, on the left, one of these acacia slabs, so this one right here, we're gonna place a white carpet in front of it, just like this. Now we're going to place the black carpet to the right of that. And now ahead of the white carpet, we're going to place the black carpet. And ahead of the black carpet, we're going to place the white carpet. And you get the picture now. We're just going to make a checkerboard pattern in this 2x2 two two width until we reach the end of the wall. So just the fastest way to do it is to place all the white carpet in a zigzag pattern and place the black carpet in a zigzag pattern. And just like that. And now we're actually going to break these two carpets that are right in front. And we're going to replace that with a 2x2 two two thing of iron that goes up like this. And now we're going to break the two carpets behind that and replace that with a black wool and a white wool. Making sure you break out the Acacia 4. And now you're going to make sure you face away from the iron blocks and face down like this. And now you're going to place an iron door right here and here. So make sure you're not facing this way and place iron doors like that which makes there's like a black block gap between them. We're gonna like face behind you, go down, and then do it like that. So that way the iron doors are right next to the iron blocks and this is supposed to look like the fridge. And we're gonna, kind of like how we did a black and white checkerboard pattern of two widths here, we're gonna go this way. So we're gonna place a carpet going this way and it's gonna be a, a four width. So basically we're just gonna place black carpet, white carpet, black carpet, white carpet, black carpet, white carpet. And then we're gonna do it behind as well. And then two layers in front for a total of four layers. Just like this. So now you're actually going to want to count two blocks to the right of this fridge. So one, two, and then break off all the carpets until you reach the right wall. And now on the left side of the carpets that you broke off, you're going to want to place a double chest, then place a double chest on top of that. In case you didn't know, the way you make a double chest is you place two chests right next to each other to form a to form a double chest. Just in case you didn't know. Now we're gonna place three furnaces to the right, like this. And then we're gonna want to shift and place detector rails on top of the furnaces. So that's supposed to look like the grills. There's one more thing you're gonna want to do for the kitchen. You need to get the acacia planks and the glass block. And then from the right wall, so right here and right in the back of this carpet, so right here, we're gonna place four casey planks going to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna place four glass blocks on top of the four casey planks. One, two, three, four. This is like a border from the dining room to the kitchen. And when you're done with that, it should look like this. Now you've completed the dining room slash kitchen area of the house. Okay, so now we're gonna go on the interior to the left of the door, and we're gonna count three blocks behind this chair that's to the left of the door. So that's one, two, three. So now we're at like this layer here. You don't have to place these prismatic there. This is just for, this is just for like context where I'm telling you to build it. So on these five blocks, that would be the row, you wanna break out the second block to the left and the second block to the right. And then I'll break off these remaining that were marine stairs. So that just gives you an idea of where these two fences should go. I think that was the that was the best way I could think of explaining it. So, 
It should look like this. Now we're going to place a black wall on top of both of these spruce fences. You're going to connect them, and you're going to place two blocks more on top of it. So now this is, this is the TV. So if you want this to look more like a TV, actually, you can put a painting on it. Like this. I don't, know. I don't know if any paintings exist that are big enough to fit this, but... Okay, so when you're done with that, it should look like this. Now you're gonna go... So you notice to the left of this TV, we have this window right here. We're gonna go two blocks to the right of this window. It's one, two. And then on this layer right here, this is where our wall to the bathroom is gonna be. So I'm gonna get out the yellow concrete. And then everything in this layer right here, it's right in between these two layers. Everything here, we're going to fill in with yellow concrete. So this is going to be the wall that separates the living room to the bathroom. And I know I could do this with a little edit, but I'm too lazy to. So I'm just doing this. So now you're going to go to the left of this wall. Count five blocks to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five. Now break off this block, break off the block on top. And this is where your dark oak door is going to be. And this is to go to the bathroom. Okay, so now we're going to make the bathroom four. So we're going to go to the top left block of four that's inside the bathroom. So right here. And you're going to get out the blue terracotta and the quartz block. And you're going to replace this block right here with blue terracotta. Then place the quartz block to the left of that, or to the right of that, and place the blue terracotta to the right of that. And then just keep going with this checkerboard pattern. And you're going to do this for the entire floor. So, the fastest way to do this might be to place all the quartz first, and then place all the blue terracotta. But you can do it whatever way you like. And when you're done, when you're done with that, it should look like this. I'm also going to break off the block that's right below the door, and replace it with quartz block, and put the door back. Okay, so now we're going to get out the end portal frame, the cauldron, the water bucket, and the tripwire hook. So again, we're going to go to the top left corner of the floor in the bathroom, and we're going, to count, we're going to count two blocks to the right. It's one, two. And place an end portal frame right here. And then count another three blocks to the right. It's one, two, three. And place a cauldron. And then you can use the water bucket and fill the cauldron with water. Just like this. Now you can place a tripwire hook on top of the ender pearl and a tripwire hook on top of the cauldron. So it should look like this. And this is the bathroom complete. If you don't know, this is supposed to be the sink and this is supposed to be the toilet. It's pretty much the closest you can get to a sink and a toilet in Minecraft. Okay, so now you're finished with the entire first floor of the interior. The only thing left to do is to make the bedroom. So now we're going to get out the white carpet and the orange concrete. Or not the orange carpet. Not the orange carpet, not the orange concrete, sorry. So we're going to go to... So basically when you go up the staircase, you're going to turn left. And the wall you're facing, right by the window, this is where we're going to start from. So starting from this, this wall right here, we're going to place four layers of white carpet. So what I mean by that is that this is one layer of white carpet. As you can see, it's right by the wall of the window. And then you're gonna want four layers of this. So that's one layer, and then two layers, three, four. And let's fill all this in with white carpet. Okay, so now that you've done that, behind the white carpet, you're gonna place three layers of orange carpet. So this is the first layer, two, three. And then just fill the rest in. So we've got kind of like an orange stripe in the carpet. Okay, so now all the rest of the floor, excluding the hole for the staircase, we're going to place white carpet on top of. So technically that's an additional three layers of white carpet, but there's going to be like a hole here so you can go down the staircase. Just fill all this in with white carpet. And when you're done with that, it should look like this. Okay, for the next part of this house, you're going to need the white bed, the white shulker box, the bone block, the oak slab, and the bookshelf. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go right by this window and in the middle two blocks. So this window is four blocks in width total. You're going to go to the middle two blocks right here. And then behind those middle two blocks, you're going to break out a two by two area of carpet, just like this. Now you're going to fill this in with white beds, just like this. This is kind of optional, but if you don't want this wood below your bed, then you can just break out this wood right here and replace it with white concrete or white wall, sorry. And you're also going to get out the orange wool for a later part. And then you can fill this area in with beds. And now you're going to go to the top left corner of the bedroom. And you're going to count one block to the right. That's one. Then break out a carpet. 
place a bone block, then we're going to need one more block. It's the dragon egg, but it's not obtainable in the creative inventory. So the only way to get it is to do these commands. You got to do slash give and then whatever your username is. My username is Kyle4961, but whatever your username is, you type in and then dragon underscore egg and then press enter. And now you should get 64 dragon eggs in your inventory. And you're gonna place this on top of the bone block. So this is like a lamp by your bed. Now you're gonna go to the right side of the bed and count two blocks to the right, it's one, two. Now on this block, you're gonna break a carpet. You're also gonna break two carpets to the right, just like that. And you're gonna place three white shulker boxes in the place where you broke the carpet. So now the front of the bedroom should look like this. Now we just have to make the bookshelves. So you're gonna break out the free carpets on either side of the orange strip, just like this. So the, we're breaking out free orange carpets to the left and free orange carpets to the right. And now you're gonna replace these with orange wool. And you'll see why we're doing this later. Just break out the birch planks and replace it with orange wool. And now I'm gonna go to the left side, but you can choose either side you want. You're gonna go to the bottom three blocks that are right by the orange wool, so these three. And you're going to place oak slabs on the upper half of these three blocks, just like this. Now you're going to place a two by three area of bookshelves on top of the slab. So one, two, three, and then it's just one, two. And in total, it's a two by three. So it's two in height and three in width. And now we're going to place three oak slabs on top of the bookshelves. And they're going to do the same thing on the other side. So these three blocks above the, above the wall, you're going to place three slabs on the upper side. Place a two by three area of bookshelves on top of the slabs, and then place three oak slabs on top of the bookshelves. So now your bedroom should look like this. So we're almost done with the house. There's one more minor thing we're gonna do. We're gonna get out the spruce trap door. And we're gonna go onto the ceiling, and anytime you see this like orange wool or white wool patch, you're just gonna cover it up with the spruce trap door. So just like this, just kind of seamlessly covers it up. You don't really notice it. Um, it just kind of looks like it's part of the house. And if you don't want these spruce trap doors in the ceiling, and then you can just um, you can just replace this with orange carpet and then break out these slabs. But I'd suggest keeping the slabs and then putting spruce trap doors on it because it makes the bookshelves more symmetrical and it makes the house look nicer when you're viewing from the bottom floor. So now you are completely done with this house. So good job. Thanks for following along this entire tutorial, if you've done that. Um, this tutorial took a very, very long time to make, so please subscribe and like and stuff. Okay, so bye, I guess. Bye. That was a really sad intro. Bye! Is that, is that a better outro? I just said intro instead of, wow, I'm, I'm tired. Okay, bye. Um, yeah.